A powerful magnitude minus 7.3 earthquake has rocked the northern border region between Iran and Iraq, killing more than 400 people and injuring thousands more. Iran's state-run IRA news agency has raised the death toll to 407 and said 6,700 people were injured after the quake that struck the country's western provinces at 9.20 p.m. local time on Sunday. Tremors were felt hundreds of miles away in both capitals, in Tehran and Baghdad. Local officials said the toll was likely to rise as search and rescue teams reached remote areas. More than 70,000 people were in need of emergency shelter, the Iranian Red Crescent said. The hardest-hit province was Kerman Shah, where three days of mourning have been announced. More than 236 people died in the town of Sarpalizab, about 10 miles from the Iraq border. In Kerman Shah Stalahu County, the local governor was quoted as saying that some villages had been completely destroyed. Farhad Tayyar, the local MP, said 15 members of his family had been killed and that the town's main hospital was severely damaged and struggling to treat hundreds of injured people. Sarpalizob has only one hospital, which was demolished in this incident. All patients and hospital staff have been buried beneath the rubble, so it cannot offer any service, he told local media. One reporter for Iran's Nawar I Waxed Weekly who visited Sarpalizob described the situation there as disorganized. There isn't enough food, nor fuel and freezing cold can take lives. Children and the old are particularly hungry and many families have not yet been sheltered, the reporter was quoted as saying, according to the Isla News Agency. More than 150 million people in Iran and Iraq, and also in their capitals, felt this earthquake, said Medizev, of the Iranian Seismological Center. The quake killed at least seven people in Iraq and injured 535, all in the country's northern, semi-autonomous Kurdish region, the Interior Ministry said. The magnitude minus 7.3 quake was centered 19 miles, 30.6 kilometers, outside the eastern Iraqi city of Halabja, according to the most recent measurements from the U.S. Geological Survey. It struck at a depth of 14.4 miles. 23.2 kilometers, a shallow depth that can have broader damage. Magnitude minus 7 earthquakes on their own are capable of widespread, heavy damage. Rescuers worked through the night to find people trapped in collapsed buildings in towns affected by the quake, which was felt as far west as Israel and south to Baghdad. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, offered his condolences and urged government agencies to do all they could to help those affected. Iranian police, the elite Revolutionary Guards and its affiliated Basij militia forces were dispatched to affected areas overnight, state TV reported. The Iranian president, Hassan Rouhai, has asked his government to focus on the aid supply. A large number of Iranian internet users criticized Facebook for not activating its safety check feature. Kasadi Shirat, another city in Kerman Shah that serves as a gateway for the transfer of goods between Iran and Iraq, was also badly hit. At least 28 people are reported to have been killed there, Isar said.